Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be making um, a simple um, fort style defense game. Um, so first let's delete this cat. I always do this. I've not really used that many cats. Okay, we don't want to do that. So let's start with painting a sprite. And convert to bitmap. Um, let's click the drawing thing. So, it is actually a, pretty much acceptable for this first part. So, we're going to make a little turret. You can design this however you want. It's a little small. Um, I'm going to make mine. And now, let's make this. B. Actually, let's make it two, so that we can draw in the middle. Okay, so then we, th now we have our turret. Um, so let's say on flag. This is just really basic. Um, let's have it go. Let, let's have it over here for the game. Um, so on flag, go to um, we want to set y to zero. So now it's in the middle, and then let's get a repeat forever function, and tell it to point towards mouse pointer, which is under here. Um, so now we have our, a little turret thing. Um, so now let's make a projectile to shoot. So, um... Zoom in, convert to bitmap, let's make the color red, alright, so we're going to start with basic projectiles, just like little rapid fire projectiles, so um, let's get another on flag program, and on flag is when you click the flag as a clarification, some people have missed that before, so I just want to point out that it's when you're clicking this, not when you open the program. So, um, so on flag, and then get a repeat forever function, put an if statement into that repeat forever function, then say, um, then say, um, if mouse down, which is if you're clicking, then it will create a clone of itself. And then get when I start this clone as well. So let's go up to looks, make it disappear at the beginning, and when it starts as a clone, it will show. Um, let's say for motion, we want it to go to sprite one. Um, and then, um, and then we want it to point in the same direction as it. So get a pointed direction program, then go to sensing, um, grab one that says backdrop number of stage, switch stage to sprite one, switch the one that automatically turns to X position to direction. And then it will show and then get a repeat until function. And then stick a delete this clone after it. Um, so <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, um, if it's touching the edge, which can be found under the drop down menu for touching mouse pointer, so if it's touching the edge, so it will do whatever this is, which will be moving. So now we can shoot little lasers. Um, you can add a delay function here to make your fire rate slower. That might be better. Depending on the game you're making, I'm going to make a really crazy game that will lag a ton, but um, it, de it depends on your personal preference. So let's convert this to bitmap too, just because it seems like that we're kind of making that our style here. And this will be the little enemy. Let's just make it like a circle. Size 10. Okay, so now it's it's also slightly smaller than the turret. Um, let's make a small eyeball. I don't know, I always like doing this. This is like this a strange style of drawing that I do for some reason. 
little things with eyeballs. Okay. So next, so now on, we want to actually, let's go over here. Let's put these two programs into there. You drag and drop it. If you're on, the, if you're on a mobile device or like an iPad or a smartphone or something, you'll have to manually duplicate them unless there's something just weird about the ones that I've used before. Um, so we are, we actually want to remove the if mouse down function and then let's say every one second it will do this. So, um, then, um, um, instead of this, sorry. Um, instead of this, um, we're going to delete this. We're going to have it go to, um, X, Y, um, let's just have it move it manually. Let's have it go here. Um, but for Y, we want it to, we want to make it random. So, um, it's, so the range of the Y axis is negative 180 to 180 so let's say like what negative 170 yes. 170 um so now it can show up pretty much anywhere then it will show and then repeat until touching sprite one um we want it to point towards um sprite one um Sorry, I missed it. Um, point towards sprite one and move maybe three steps. And then um, we want to get an if statement. Um, so if um, it's touching the color of the lasers, which you'll find under sensing. And the color of the lasers, if you don't remember, is 100, 100, 100, or 0, 100, 100, which are the same thing. So if it's touching the color of the lasers, it will delete the clone of itself. But otherwise, if you let it get there, let's make a variable called health. Let's just go all out with an actual, like, achievable game. So um, if it's touching it, it will... Or, Let's start this at the beginning. Sorry. At the beginning, it will set the health, let's say, to 100. You can set this as high or low as you want. And then if it makes it and touches you, change health by, like, minus 5, let's say. Um, and let's actually get an if-else statement for that. And then grab an, uh, uh, one of the greater or less than blocks as always, it doesn't really matter which one you grab, but um, as long as you put the things in the right place. Um, so, if health is greater than zero, or actually, if health is greater than five, since it's changing it by negative five, so, um, yeah, um, and then, so, Otherwise, if it's um, if your health is at five and one hits you, it will set the health to zero so that it doesn't look sloppy, and that will stop all. Um, and yeah, so um, now let's just make a score variable to pretty much the same same fundamentals. Just at the beginning, we want to set the score to zero, and then like change score by change the score by one um, if you destroy one of them. So, if you shoot one of the or not shoot, um, if you eliminate one of the little things, I have to be careful about what I say. Um, then it will change your score by one. So now, so my score is one. And they're all chasing me. Um, but if one hits me, my score goes down, by, or not my score, my health goes down by five. This is why um, a, a health rate, or a, not health rate, a fire rate that's lower might be, might make this a little bit better of a game. But I'm just going to make the enemies appear insanely quickly, making that kind of unnecessary because now this is happening. <laughs> And like, there's no way you're going to get all of those. 
Um, it's also a very fast way to score points. Um, anyway, that's all for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but um, another thing I want to add is this is a very good base to build games on. Maybe make different enemies or like different types of lasers. But I'm that's all I'm going to do. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.